or has to simplify the given square roots. The symbol for the square root is called a radical symbol. For a real number a, the square root of a is written using this notation here. The number that is written under the radical symbol is called the radicand. So in this square root, a is called the radicand. By definition, the square root symbol shown here always means to find the non-negative root called the principal square root. And therefore, for a non-negative real number a, the square root of a squared is equal to a. So to simplify a square root, we're asking what non-negative real number times itself equals the radicand. In this form, we can also think of the square root as undoing the squaring. As an example, to simplify a square root 25, we're asking what non-negative real number times itself equals 25. So because 25 equals 5 times 5, the square root of 25 is equal to the square root of 5 times 5, which equals the square root of 5 squared, which equals 1 factor of 5. The square root of 25 equals 5 because 5 squared is equal to 25. It's also true the square of negative 5 equals 25, but because this is the principal square root, we only find the non-negative root. So going back to our examples, to simplify square root 4, we're asking what non-negative real number times itself equals 4. Because 2 times 2 equals 4, the square root of 4 equals 2, but to show work, we can write square root 4 as square root 2 times 2, which equals square root 2 squared, which simplifies to 1 factor of 2. The reason the square root of 4 equals 2 is because 2 squared equals 4. To simplify square root 16, we're asking what non-negative real number times itself equals 16. Well, 16 is equal to 4 times 4, so square root 16 equals square root 4 times 4, which equals square root 4 squared, which equals 1 factor of 4. Again, in this form, notice how we can think of the square root as undoing the squaring. The square root of 16 equals 4 because 4 squared equals 16. To simplify square root 81, we're asking what non-negative real number times itself equals 81. 81 is equal to 9 times 9. So the square root of 81 equals square root of 9 times 9, which equals the square root of 9 squared, which equals 1 factor of 9. The square root of 81 equals 9 because 9 squared equals 81. Next we have the square root of 121. As the radicand gets larger, this does get more challenging, but we're still asking what non-negative real number times itself equals 121. 11 times 11 equals 121. So this equals the square root of 11 times 11, which equals the square root of 11 squared, which equals 1 factor of 11. This square root equals 11 because 11 squared equals 121. Now for the last example, because the radicand is large, it'll be helpful to look at the prime factorization of 324. Let's go ahead and do this. 324 is equal to 2 times 162. 162 is equal to 2 times 81. 81 is equal to 9 times 9. Notice right now we have two factors of 2 and two factors of 9. So we could actually stop here. Notice how we have two factors of 2 and two factors of 9. So 324 is equal to 2 times 2 times 9 times 9. Well, 2 times 9 is 18 here as well as here. This shows us that 324 is equal to 18 times 18, which is all we need to simplify this square root. The square root of 324 equals the square root of 18 times 18, which equals the square root of 18 squared, which equals 1 factor of 18. This is true because 18 squared equals 324. But let's also show how we can use the full prime factorization of 324 to simplify the square root. Continuing the prime factorization, we have 3 times 3 here and 3 times 3 here. Now that we have the prime factorization, we can write square root 324 as the square root of 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Every time we have two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor. So here's a perfect square, 
here's a perfect square, and here's a perfect square. So we can write this as the square root of two squared times three squared times three squared. From here, we can use the product rule for square roots that tells us the square root of a product equals the product of the square roots. So we can write this as the square root of two squared times the square root of three squared times the square root of three squared, which is equal to one factor of two times one factor of three times one factor of three, which does give us 18. So when the radicand is large, using the prime factorization can be very helpful.